But there are incumbent Democrat U.S. senators in this country right now running television ads, touting all their work with this modern day Hitler. I wonder if Kamala Harris tonight in our town hall meeting will call for them to take these ads off the air, touting their work with this Hitler. Not a chance. Welcome back. Thanks for watching. Today, I have another spicy state media takedown for you, brought to us by Lonely Scott Jennings, who, once again, as usual, is put into a 1v5 situation over at the Kamala campaign headquarters, pretending to be a news network. The topic is, of course, the latest iteration of the Democrats' My Republican Opponent is Literally Hitler strategy, which they have endlessly used against Trump. And as I'll detail more after the clip, every single prominent opponent of Democrats going back Back to Ronald Reagan. Probably will shock Kamala Harris and the rest of her campaign staff to learn that there are incumbent Democrat U.S. senators in this country right now running television ads touting all their work with this modern day Hitler. I wonder if Kamala Harris tonight in our town hall meeting will call for them to take these ads off the air touting their work with this Hitler. I mean, if, if he were really Hitler, if he were really a threat to democracy, not a single Democrat in this country would be running ads touting their work with Donald Trump. Now, I'm calloused on this Hitler business because I lived through the Bush years, and I used to peer out my window onto Pennsylvania Avenue, and I saw everybody marching around in their brown uniforms, signs up, Bush is Hitler, Bush is Hitler, and then they did it to John McCain, they did it to Mitt Romney, they've done it to Donald Trump, they even did it to Paul Ryan, I recall at one point, so... Up your I've heard it all before, and I think the reason Democrats are freaking out about it right now is because what they have learned is that it's not Republicans who are the Hitlers or the Nazis. It's actually emanating from within their own party. If you want to find Hitlerish, Nazi-esque, anti-Semitic tendencies, look on the left, but Scott, not the right. Is, but Scott, you're ducking the issue because this isn't Democrats outside she saying literally it's about spoke in front of the Naval Observatory this is, today. This is the president, Trump the former, is Hitler. the former president's United, States, the former president's chief of staff saying this about his boss. It's her closing Nobody argument. Nobody is closer. Everyone thinks that the vice president of the United States is deputy president. That's not it's true. Not. The chief, chief of staff. staff is actually the deputy president in the United States. And when that person comes out and says this is a problem, and it's his words, it's not like. George W. Bush ever said anything ever, like he, he admired Hitler. Ever, but, but, someone, but apparently, every, every Republican is Hitler. Every Republican is Hitler. Yes, exactly. Scott is absolutely correct. But before you click on another video, hang out just a minute and let me give you a quick rundown of the Democrat and media's consistent use of this tactic over the years. Like I mentioned earlier, the Democrats and media accuse Ronald Reagan of being a Hitler Nazi apologist. As you may or may not know, the left has always accused the Bushes of having links to Hitler and the Nazis. And of course, George W. Bush himself was constantly compared to Hitler by both Democrats and the media. Then of course we get to Trump and yes, they were comparing him to Hitler as early as 2015. The number of prominent people comparing you to Adolf Hitler is actually growing by the day. You saw over the weekend, Louis C.K. And yesterday, the Mexican president said you're using the same kind of language that ushered in Hitler and Mussolini. I can't remember that kind of comparison being used against any other presidential candidate. He uh, had to be asked several times until finally Anderson Cooper asked him, do you mean radical Islam? Then, then he said yes. He didn't, he didn't take that at the beginning. And part of that it's comments like those that are causing some to compare him to Hitler, people who do not like him. Jews were otherized in Nazi Germany to gain political power for Hitler, and right now Donald Trump is doing the same thing. He's otherizing people. It has been used in our history before to start and win wars. A complete dangerous monster, and any moment that I have to call Trump out for being uh, an inheritor to Hitler, I will. That was in 2016. They did the exact same thing again in 2020. Which is kind of weird, right? Because Trump didn't turn out to be Hitler like they said he would in 2016. Oh my God. Oh, I don't know. We won't call them fascist comments. Fascist. Fascism. Fascist. Call fascism. Fascism. Just fascist. Fascist. Notions of fascism. Xenophobic. Racist. Demagogic. Racist. Sexist. Xenophobic. Autocratic. And fascistic. Donald Trump is a fascist. Someone like a fascist or a tyrant or an autocrat. Fascist rhetoric. Fascist language. Fascists. I'm, I'm glad that you're starting talking about fascism. Hitler. Right. Fascist rhetoric. He's talking the way fascists talk. It's autocratic. Fascist in Nazi Germany before the rise of Hitler, fascist language. To Hitler, fascist, Hitler, 
I mean, Adolf Hitler. Hitler, Hitler, well, Hitler, 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 but Hitler. From what Adolf Hitler preached in the early 30s. Let's just say it once and for all. Something very familiar about all this. Not to mention Mitt Romney and even Paul Ryan. All of them, literally Hitler. So yeah, just a quick history lesson to show you this is just the latest example of the Democrats and media calling their Republican opponent literally Hitler just before an election. What do you all think? Let me know in the comments, and if you're still here, might as well hit that like button and subscribe. I post on a regular basis, so keep checking back for more. Thanks a lot.